के अभिभाषण पर धन्यवाद प्रस्ताव में अपनी बातों को समाप्त करता हूं धन्यवाद जय हिंद वंदे मातर टी आर बालू जी so the grace respect to the honorable president of india i would like to join with other friends to thank her address in the both houses of the parliament on 31st of this month at the last month sir on behalf of dmk and my leader Talam Adi M K Stalin. It is my profound duty to thank the hard noble President of India for having addressed the, both the houses because she is the face of 143 crores of Indian nationals, and at the same time, President. could not be found fault we can't found for find fault on the on her subject matters which she has delivered because it is a, it is a matter of uh, government government policies it is a comprehensive government policy note which she has read in the house i can't find fault with madam i have to thank her But at the same time, the policies of the government will definitely be. I can find fault with that. So time and again, we have to intervene in this parliament for the omissions and commissions of the BJP rule for the past ten years. So whether it is a subject matter of youth of this country, common man, middle class. Weaker section of this country, women and children, senior citizen, and so on. But it is the purpose of the for that purpose only we the members of parliament they are uh, elected and coming to the parliament to discuss. Yet the if the ruling party goes uh, goes wrong, it is for us to condemn and correct them. Similarly, we have been demanding the policies and programs. for the development of our own state tamil nadu maybe pertaining to the exemption of neet demanding higher allocation to tamil nadu demanding flood relief to tamil nadu demanding games to at madurai second phase metro approval to continue save the project to increase the railway connectivity fast moving trains from madurai tanjavur and koyambatur etc sir during first and third week of december 2003 tamil nadu has witnessed unprecedented flood and cyclone which means 100 years back it it was a, it it has uh, surpassed hundred years history also in chennai alone chennai and other uh, surrounding uh, districts or three other districts it has experienced 40 bis cm of flood, flood water rain water in particular day in tutukudi wherein kanimuli represents tutukudi and surround, uh, surrounding districts a uh, three other districts He, they have experienced more than 100 cm of rainfall in a particular day never happened unprecedented more than 2 crores people of tamil nadu have suffered the unprecedented rain they were starving for weeks because there is no logistic there is no logistic approach only by boat things have to be moved food has to be moved water has to be moved so that is why they have suffered for a week and moreover lot of automobiles cars two wheelers and other vehicles have been immersed and still they are lying in the mechanic shed sir sir hand more oh, sir more than 8000 tons of food grains have spoiled in the fca godown even now it is it, it could not be 
replaced as, as the water is inundated everywhere. The state government asked financial support of 37,000 crores. What has happened, sir? No relief, no re reconstruction. My friend Mr. Rajnath Singh air dashed and he has visited through, uh, he has had an aerial survey and Madam uh, Nirma, uh, Nirma Sitaraman has also went around Tutukur and other four districts. Rajnath Singh in Chennai, he has uh, uh, traveled here and there, but he more and they came back. And three committees have been sent from the government of India. What has happened, sir? They have surveyed, they have assessed what, the, what they have to give, they know. But they have not, not had given even a paisa, sir. 37 crores the government of Tamil Nadu has asked for. On 4th January, I met personally along with the CM's letter and met uh, the, uh, the Prime Minister of Tamil India. And 13th, on, on, on 19th of the January, myself and the Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu went there and expressed the concern about the Tamil Nadu and um, Prime Minister has shown, he was very courteous and she, he has promised that he will do the needful immediately. What has happened is nothing. On 13th of this month, January, January, we went, the delegation has been taken by me. All party delegation has met the Honorable Home Minister of India. He said, he has finally, he has said, categorically he has promised that he has promised on or before 27th, definitely I will help you. The relief and reconstruction fund will be given to Tamil Nadu on or before 27th of January. What is today's date, sir? It is 2nd February. Nothing has happened. So that is why we, the DMK, the opposition, make it, calls it as a stepmotherly attitude towards Tamil Nadu. The same thing the, 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 the other man from Kannada, he would have said, we are not getting enough allocation to South India. He should have, he should have told the same thing. But our, 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 our parliament affairs minister casting aspersion on him and the opposition. It's not fair on the part of the parliament affairs minister, sir. In addition, sir, in, uh, there is an insult to injury, sir. What is that insult to injury? Sir, five years back, our prime minister laid the foundation stone to Ames Madurai. Five years back, 2014, uh, 2019, he has laid the foundation stone. He has, he has laid one brick. Over that brick, nothing has happened. So far, all the, all the aims, which have, those have been announced by the Honorable Prime Minister of India in 2019, have come up and they are working, they are established. And what has happened in Madurai? Madurai is not seeing the day of the, it is, it is in ground zero, sir. Only the common dwell is looking at us wherever we go there. So it is a sad part. We want to express the concern over this. And that is why we are calling the central government is ha having stubborn attitude towards Tamil Nadu, sir. This is not fair on the part of the RV in this federal center or not, sir. So that is what I want to claim over that, sir. The 1,800 crore project, the AIMS project, this, it would have been established long back, sir. Just like other uh, the AIMS uh, 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 establishments, sir. Sir, 50 lakhs they are spending for in, in a budget. Is it not possible to provide 300 to 400 crores every year, sir, to complete this project? So by this time, it would have been completed and established. One day after a deep slumber, the health minister came to the parliament to a question he has answered. Sir, we have done it. 50, 50 uh, students have been admitted in Ramnathavaram College. Where is it? 120 kilometers from Madurai. The AMC, is, he says, the AMC is now working. Where it is working? In Ramnathavaram, 120 kilometers from Madurai. Yes, it's head office is Pondicherry, 400 kilometers kilo away from Madurai. This is the state of affairs for the things which we are, which you are craving for years together, sir. 
This is not fair on the part of the union government to just leave Tamil Nadu in high and dry, sir. Sir, after, after, the, after the lapse of so many years, I am asking, what is happening, sir, say the Samadharam project? 2005, the foundation stone was laid by Dr. Manmohan Singh, sir, 2005. The project was in progress. They made a stay. Court has made a stay on 2008 because of intervention of intervention of some case on communal basis. You know, the entire entire uh, India knows what has happened. Now, last year, the government of India itself gone to the court saying that there is no man-made structure. They can go, go ahead with the project. What has happened? Nothing is happening, sir. The project is not yet taken up. Even the government of Tamil India is keeping lukewarm, sir. This is a project of Tamil dreams, dreams of Tamil national. More than 160 years, Tamil dreams has not yet been made good, sir. It, is, it has not been accomplished. It is a dream of Dr. Anna. It is a dream of Dr. Karnanadi. It is a dream of K. Kamaraj, sir. What has happened, sir? Nothing. The least, they are least bothered about Tamils and Tamil pride, sir. Sir, the government has renamed National Maritime Development Policy. The National Maritime Development Policy was envisaged during my period when I was a shipping minister. More than 120 projects have been identified. During those times, each and every day, there will be a program, there will be a progress, there will be a development. But what has happened? After the NDA government came in, they just changed India. Yes, they changed the name of National Development Program, Maritime Program, into Sagar Mala. What has happened to Sagar Mala, sir? Sagar Mala is without any link. Sagar Mala is in the, in the eastern coast, it is Sagar Mala is there. In the western coast, Sagar Mala is there. But to connect the eastern coast and western coast, there is no link. If they, if they want to link the Sagar Mala in, in, in fulfill, it has to be, say this something should be established, sir. They are, not, they are not going to do it. That is why the Sagar Mala will not accomplish, sir. Sir, in para 7 of the, the President address, she has said, Madam President has said, I quote, this parliament also enacted a law to grant citizenship to persecuted minorities from our neighboring countries. Neighboring countries means Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Bangladesh. All other communities have been permitted and they are getting the citizenship, whereas Muslim community is not getting it, sir. Whereas Tamil minority from Sri Lanka is not getting it, sir. This is the state of affairs for the minorities, sir. CAA, sir, Citizenship Amendment Act came in. Mr. Santanu, the state minister, has said last week, within a week's time, I am going to implement. Where is the possibility? West Bengal now is inclined to have this CIA in place in West Bengal. Mamta Banerjee already declared. Dr. M.K. Stalin has already declared. I am not going to implement in Tamil Nadu. Where is the possibility? Within a week's time, she, he, uh, Minister, and moreover, other, other states are so, also not inclined to pass, uh, have, have the CIA in their state, own states. But ministry is simply said, within a week's time, I will do it, sir. Because of voting by the ADMK, the 13th member voting by the ADMK in Rajya Sabha, the bill has been passed. But for the 13 votes, this bill would have not been passed. But ground reality, they should understand. The ruling party should understand. Because of the ruling, ruling parties, Friendship with the ADMK, the bill has been passed. Now it is, it could not be passed. My leader, Dr. Kalang, Dr. Stalin, has 
collected two crores per signature. Signature campaign, he has collected two crores, sent it to the President of India not to approve this CAA. She has not done it. And more than two, two he has also resolved in state assembly to not to have the CAA. But in spite of it, the central government has gone in. Sir, as per para five of Madam President has said, I quote, last year any government has given government jobs, my government has given government jobs to lakhs of youth in mission mode. Mission mode, he says. In mission mode, he has given lakhs and lakhs of jobs. So what has happened? 2014 itself, Honorable Prime Minister of India, he came all the way to Chennai. He has declared, I am going to give two crores jobs every year. After 10 years, that is why Mr. Gogai has asked, well, how, what has happened to the 20 crores jobs? 20 crores jobs, these should have provided by now. 10 years have passed. Not even a single job has been provided by him on this particular scheme. And moreover, sir, Metro, Metro project in Tamil Nadu, second phase is going on. Second phase, without the, without the help of the central government, it is in progress. It is in progress means we could not proceed because of want of money. What has happened? Metro project, for Metro project, project government of Tamil Nadu has written three, four times. He met the Prime Minister twice or thrice. But in spite of it, Government of India is not coming forward to help us. What he said in, the, in his President address, Madam, he said, Para 15, Madam President has said, I quote, Metro facilities limited to only five cities. In now it is 20 cities. They can boast. Government can boast that as if they are doing in 20 cities. But neglecting the Tamil Nadu project, sir. Tamil Nadu project, Metro project, second phase is lingering. They are not helping us. This matter has to be looked into, sir. In para 11, one tax, one nation. They have got slogans out there. One tax, one nation. One tax means GST. GST, all the, all the, the things, they have provided GST. They have abolished all the other taxes, except petroleum products. For diesel and petrol, there, the DSC is not there. Why? See, government is mopping money because of the GST, the, the, because of other tax, multiple tax. They are not providing GST. If they would have provided even 20 higher, higher slab, 28%, the petrol and diesel would not, not, would not, would not go beyond 85 and 70 pesos. This is what I want to insist, I, I demand that it should be, made, it, the petroleum product should be provided with GST tax only, sir. So LPG, 5% tax they have put. LPG should be zero down. It should, there should be zero percentage, sir, for the LPG. It is not correct on the part of the state, the union government, to sell at 400, 400, 900 rupees per cylinder. Whereas it was in UPA, it was only 400 rupees, sir. This is not correct on the part of the state, the central government. Sir, on the final thing, EPF pension fund. Employment Provident Fund Fund, pension fund. Sir, 70 years they work in government. Even after 70 years of prime age, they, they, they retire. After the retirement, what is happening, sir? They are getting paltry amount of 1,000 rupees only as pension, retirement pension. Sir, even in Tamil Nadu, our own household, women, they are getting 1,000 rupees per head. 1,000 rupees each and 1,000 rupees per month. 1,000 rupees per month they are getting. But whereas the worker, the industrial workers, they are not getting, they are only getting 1,000 rupees after serving 15 years, 20 years, like that. So this matter has to be dealt, in, dealt immediately, and they have to be given increased pension, at least up to 3,000 rupees, sir. This is my uh, demand, sir. 
with this i want to say the finally i want to say that many governors in india many of the governors they are not they they think there is a halo behind the head halo behind their head as if they are not they won't care about what is um, uh, what is uh, what is uh, mentioned in the uh, 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 constitution they don't know about the constitution and they think they are the they are the ultimate of everything this is not fair sir actually many times they just yesterday day for yesterday on 31st mad i am said each and every syllable of the government uh, the policy note whereas governors won't see read or read and moreover they edit and read recently one particular governor has read only the last line of the governor's address and came out and the worst part is they are simply opposing the state government much against much over and above than the opposition of the particular state the opposition they are used to marshaling on this elected government crores and crores of mandate they gave they uh, the, the public gave it to the elected government whereas the elected government has been is just belittling by the belittled by the governor and governor is making fun of it and he says he many times he compete with the opposition to scold the the party in power this is not fair on the part of so if anybody any governor is doing some virtuous acts this must be the madam president should pull up and see that this terminated post with sir this is my final demand sir thank you very much sir aap